I have come to dance. I will dance in the middle and then I ran away. How are you, my little angels? Are you okay? Are you fine? Continue coming in. Come in and of course, remember your position. When did you enter the class? Okay? It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Yes, I'm seeing. Continue coming in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Yes, Janet. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Oscar, continue. Wow. Yes. Johnny, you're here with us. Oh, that's nice. Jen is also here with us. Very good. Now, what can you see on my table? What can you see on our table? Our table today, we have varieties of fruits. Which one is the first fruit? Teacher, that is an orange. Very good. The second one? Teacher, that one looks like... Um, You've never seen that fruit? It's a pear. Wow. What about the next fruit? Teacher, we also have a banana. Wow. And then, that one, teacher, is it a fruit? No, it's a vegetable. Very good. So you remember, which vegetable is that? We said, how do we call that vegetable? It's called a capsicum. It's called a capsicum. It's used for cooking very delicious food. Then we have a banana and an apple. You can see they are all arranged in a certain position. Before that, who came to class the first person? Tisha was the first one. Do you remember when I found you when you were writing on, your, on the board? Very good. Huh? Who followed? Who followed Johnny? Tisha, I came the third. Johnny came the third. No, Johnny came the first one. Who followed Johnny? It was Janet then. Oscar, very good. Then Jen followed. Then Oscar's friend followed. Very good. So the same way we enter the class and you're able to identify you came first, this one came the second, this one came the third, maybe that one came the fourth, the fifth, like that. It is the same way we want to arrange these fruits and know what exactly is its position, which fruit is in which position. For example, when you look at, when you're seated where you are, let me not talk about when you sit where you are like this. Which one is the first fruit you're seeing from the, which hand is this? Left hand side. From the left hand side, which fruit are you able to see? Teacher, I'm able to see the orange. Good. Then the pear. Very good. Then which fruit? Mango. Then we have the capsicum, which is not a fruit really. It is a it is a vegetable. Let me just assume that we need to use fruits only. Let's use the fruits only. And we start using the vegetable, we'll also use the vegetables only so that I don't mix vegetables and fruits. But teacher, you said both of them give their vitamins. Yes, their vitamins, but I want people to get the difference between the fruits and the vegetables. So we have orange, pear, mango, apple, and a banana. So who can tell me? Which one is the fruit number one? Which one is the fruit number one? From the left hand side, from where you're seated, not from where I am, from where you're seated. Which one is the fruit number one? The fruit number one is orange. Then fruit number two, pear. Then fruit number three, mango. Yes, Johnny, fruit number four, teacher, it's an apple. Then fruit number five, Oscar, it is a banana. But do you know, instead of saying fruit number one, fruit number two, fruit number three, number four, like that. There is another way we can name these fruits. Do you know that? We can name these fruits using the position numbers. Using the position numbers. For example, who came to class the first? I'm using the word first and not who came to class number one. Are we together? So who came to class first? It was Janet. So which is the fruit? Number one, the fruit number one is the orange. So instead of saying fruit number one, we will say the first fruit. The first fruit from the left hand side is the orange. And what are these? What are these things we call the first fruit, the second fruit, the third fruit? What are these? We call them ordinals. And what are ordinals? What are ordinals? Ordinals tells about the position or rank. Ordinals. Ordinals tells the position. Ordinal tells the position or rank. 
of something. What is what are ordinals? Ordinals are the thing, the words that tell the position or rank of something. For example, we are ranked. You are which count is this? Our county is which count is this? This is county zero 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 one. Is it zero zero one? No, teacher. No, 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 no. Which count is this? This county. 047. Very good. Now, you see that is the number of that county. So instead of saying county number 47, we say it is the 47 county. But now that is not the case. We want to look at these fruits here. So we have said, how will you name them according to numbers? We have the orange. After orange, what do we have? We have the pear. After the pear, we have the mango. After the mango, what do you have? We have the apple. And lastly, we have the banana. So we are being asked now, let us name, position these fruits according to their position. So when you start counting, which one is the first position? The first position is orange. Are you seeing orange? Orange is in the first position. Then, what about position number two? How do we refer to position number two? Position number two is called second. Position number two is called second. Then, how do we call position number three? Position number three, someone remind me. How do we call position number three? Position number three is called third. Position number three is called third. And what about position number four? Position number four is called fourth. Position number four is called fourth. Now, we are missing out one position. Where the, who has taken that position? The next position, after four we have, Oh, I had forgotten to take it. So then the position number five is the one that we refer to as fifth. Have you seen? Position number five is always called fifth. It has refused to stand nicely, but it has to fifth. So we can now name our fruits according to the position, according to the ordinal. So you're saying, which fruit comes in the first position? It is, which fruit comes in the first position? It is the orange. The orange is in the first position, followed by the pear, which is in the second position, followed by the mango. Mango is in which position, Johnny? Mango is in the third position. Then, apple. Jen, apple is in the fourth position. And the one in the fifth position is the orange. Now, how did you write this number? From the word one, that's where you get the word first. And remember, there is that first for running very fast. And there is this first for the number one. Then we have the position for the pair, which is second. Second. Then the third one, from the word three, you get the word third. Then number four, which is an apple, from the word four, you get the number fourth. And then from the word number five, which, we, which is in the fifth position. What have you realized about this? Apart from the first and the second, these other ordinal names comes from the original number three, four, five. Have you seen? Apart from first and second, which have a very different word from its number, number the, the third, fourth, and fifth ordinal numbers, words, they come from the original number of the word of the numbers 
three, four, and five. So up to there. Have you understood something? Now we also have balls of different varieties. Who can do this for us? Who can do this for us? Someone to come and do this for us. We have this ball, which is the purple ball. Someone help us out. Then we have this orange ball. This purple has refused to stand. Let's use the orange one. Probably it will stand. Then we have the yellow ball and the green ball. So if you are supposed to name these balls using their positions, which ball, who can tell me, blue is in which position? Blue is in the first position. Blue is in the first position. What about the green ball? The green ball is in the second position. The green ball is in the second position. Then the yellow ball is in the third position. And in the fourth position, we have the purple ball. And then the orange ball is in the fifth position. Is that okay? You have said the purple is in the fourth position. And the yellow ball was in the third position. Very good. So, are we able to name things according to their positions? Have you understood how we name things according to the positions using ordinals? And what have you said ordinals are? Ordinals tells the position or rank of something. So, today in the evening when you go home, your brother is in the high school, you are in different school, your mother works different place, your father works in a different place. Find out who reaches the house first, who reaches the house in the second, who reaches the house the third, who reaches the house the fourth, like that. So that tomorrow you tell me, teacher, I came in the house the third person, or I came the first person, mommy came the second person, daddy came the third person, like that. I want to see, are you able to identify and or rank things or position things according to their positions in the correct manner. Up to there. Is there any question? No. So during your own free time, look at our shapes here. Are you seeing the shapes here? We have the triangle, the diamond, the square, the star, circle, heart, rectangle, and oval. I want you to tell me which shape is in the first position. Which shape is in the third position? And the star is in which position? Tell me the star is in which position and tell me the circle is in which position. I've said which shape is in the first position, which shape is in the third position, and the star is in which position and the circle is in which position. So you have two assignments. One to do now in class practically with the, your friend. Tell your friend the triangle is in the first position. The diamond is in the second position. The square is in the third position. The star is in the fourth position. And the circle is in the fifth position. And you take turns saying that several times so that you get to know. When you talk about position, who is who and who is talking about what? Okay? Up to there. Is there any problem? Should I repeat anything? I hope you're all together. And I wish you well. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.